Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna fix this mess with the custom storage rack. Today we're back in my shop. It's been a while since I've really done anything here. And one of the problems with my shop right now is this. This entire section of the room is a total mess. And today I wanna fix it. Several years back, I made a lumber storage cart and it worked great. It was on wheels, we could move it around, but ultimately I didn't roll it around a whole lot because it got overloaded. It's deep in this pile of stuff. And one of the big problems is that I've got a bunch of different size materials that I wanna keep and I wanna organize them. And this, while a great solution, is just not great for my particular needs. So we're gonna rebuild something today and it's gonna have a big feature. It's gonna break down sheet goods into different lengths and stick goods into different lengths. So let me go to the whiteboard and I'll show you what I'm thinking about. Basically, I went to the whiteboard and drew up some sketches because I wanted to figure out exactly how to store different length pieces. And so I've got sheet storage built here where I can have a full size sheet, a three quarter sheet and a half sheet. And that way they're not all muddied together. I can get what I need very easily. They're not gonna be leaning on each other. They're in separate bays. And we're gonna do basically the same thing on top of it for sticks. Let me show you the model that I'm working on. So right over here, we've got kind of a 3D model so I can figure out how many pieces of two by four I'm gonna need, what sorts of melamine I'm gonna need for the bottom surfaces because that'll make pieces slide really easily. So we've got pretty much a plan here and we can turn this into plans for you if you wanna make something like this. But before we do any of this work, we gotta go clean up that mess. This is over here, if anybody remembers this. Actually, there's a ton of stuff from old projects over in this area. We'll try to point them out, but anybody want this? You can have it. Don't pull anything. Whoa! <laughs> You're so strong. I figured out one of the problems, and this is something I'm gonna address in the actual thing that we're gonna build. If you have an opening for material that is maybe four feet tall, for four foot tall material, it doesn't actually work because you need to be able to lift the piece in at an angle. And so you have to have the opening just a little bit taller so that you can actually get it in there and wiggle it around. So that's one thing. All of the openings instead of 48 inches are gonna be probably 49 or 50 inches tall. I've got this area cleaned out and it already looks way better, but I do have to build something to put back here. So we need to go buy a whole bunch of material and I have an idea for this thing, but it's not completely fleshed out. So by the time this video is over and it's completely built, we will make some plans available for you of that final result. But until then, I'm gonna kind of make it up as I go along. Like I mentioned before, we have to make a bunch of two by four frames. And this is gonna be a whole lot of two by fours and pocket holes. So I'm gonna show you just how we're gonna put one of these frames together, then we'll make all the rest, and then we'll go from there. Basically, we're gonna have some rails on the top and bottom, and then some pieces of two by four in between those. And that's intentional. You could actually do that differently. You could do this kind of a joint, but instead we're gonna do this kind of a joint. So let me go ahead and get these cut down to length on the miter saw and then we'll add some pocket holes. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now the last couple years have been rough on a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, and it's okay to talk to somebody about it. Friends and family are great, but sometimes you need a therapist. When I was growing up, my mom was a marriage and family therapist and I saw firsthand how therapy can make a huge difference in people's lives. Getting help with BetterHelp is very easy. You just go to the website, you fill out a simple questionnaire, and that will help assess your specific needs. And in under 48 hours, they will match you with a therapist. Once you've got your match, you can set up secure video and phone sessions. You've got unlimited messaging with your therapist. And if at any point you find that that therapist is not right for you, BetterHelp has a network of over 20,000 therapists with a wide range of expertise. You can join the over 2 million people who've taken charge of their mental health and gotten help from an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Plus, you can get 10% off the first month. If you go to betterhelp.com slash ILTMS, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash ILTMS, you're gonna get 10% off your first month of therapy. 
That link will also be down below. Be sure to go check it out, and big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. For most of these, I'm not gonna add glue because they're not really gonna matter and I have a whole bunch of these to do. But this first big panel is gonna be the outside of the largest section, which means it's gonna have the most weight in it. If I put full sheets of plywood in this area, you're gonna have the most weight leaning against this wall in particular. So, in addition to these pocket holes, I'm gonna put glue in all these joints. It's not gonna do a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. This is one of the frames. So we're gonna do another one that's this size and then start stepping them down so they're a little bit shorter. I'm gonna go ahead and make these without having to show them to you and then I'll show you how we're gonna attach them together. All right, so I made a bunch of these little blocks and these are gonna be the spacers in between all these frames. Let me set them down. You'll notice that they have kind of weird looking pocket holes in them. That's because they're so short and basically they're gonna drive in screws like this and like that into the frames. So these are gonna be going right here. And so that is gonna create the space for where our material is gonna go in. So if you wanted these to be wider, you just have to make this piece wider. So this one will get pulled over and attached like that. But I did want to point something out. I've got these connector pieces laying flat instead of vertically, and that's on purpose. Even though if they were vertical, it would actually help with stability. It would be less likely to rack left and right if this was laying like this. But I'm trying to maximize the opening here, and I want to make it so that I don't have to lift a sheet up over a two by four to get it in the bottom. So this is a really confusing thing to look at. It was even more confusing to model, trust me. But basically the structure of the bottom section is here. And so what I need to do is cut down some melamine to lay inside these areas on top of these pieces. And that's gonna give me kind of a track so that I can slide the pieces in and out. Now melamine is slick, but it's also inexpensive. Right now, as I'm filming this video, it is the cheapest sheet good that you can get. It's way cheaper than plywood or pretty much anything else. And the fact that it's slick, just made it a great option for this. So I'm gonna cut down some strips on the table saw and just lay them in here and just put a couple brad nails in to hold them down. If you're not familiar with melamine, it is basically like a plastic coating on a chipboard. So the inside of this is just mush, uh, sawdust that's glued together into a board. It's covered with a nice slick surface. Usually this stuff comes in three quarter inch sheets and it's great for tabletops and things like that, but they do have it in half inch and quarter inch, which is what I'm gonna use for this. I got the melamine pieces on the bottom, and I'm gonna do essentially the same thing up here for the top section, but it's gonna be a solid sheet. It just has kind of a weird cutout that I have to make, but I'm gonna use quarter inch melamine up here. So I'm gonna lay a sheet on, trace it, and then cut it and fit it into place. Then on top of that, we're gonna do another really simple two by four structure to make some areas for the sticks to be put in. The flush trim bit is very handy, but it is also very messy. In fact, it's all over the lens. Yep. No, don't touch it. All right, so this is the top frame. 
which I know looks silly, it doesn't have a top, but we don't really need another two by four up there. So basically it's gonna go like this. We've got some pocket holes in here we can drive down into the existing structure. And then we're gonna have a half inch sheet of melamine sit on top of all this stuff to act as a very, very top shelf for some deep storage. But before we put this piece in, we have to take it out, lay that half inch sheet on top of here and trace it, take it down and cut it, make it a little bit easier. And then we'll put in the frame and lay on the top. Well, ah, how do I pick this up? Cause it's gonna slip, I got it. Oh, there's a bar in the way. Oh, I totally hit. Well, I forgot about the thing. <laughs> I just got to clear it. Am I above it? No. Yeah, no. First try. That was one try. I didn't put it back down. <laughs> Go there. So it's even weirder to look at now than it was before, but, but it is pretty much done. It, you could stop right now and it would totally do what it's supposed to do. We've got sheet storage down here, stick storage up here, and then down here we've got areas for stuff to go in the top, taller pieces to go in the side. But to make it more useful, we're gonna cover up these big faces because I've got a whole bunch of clamps on a cart over there and I'd like to get them off of the cart. So we're gonna cover these surfaces so we have a lot of places to hang stuff and then we can fill this thing up. This thing is actually finished being put together, but I need your help. While I load this up, go down in the comments and leave me ideas for what to do with this space. I wanna move all my clamps over here. I've got two walls here where I can put different consumables and different just tools. I wanna to take advantage of these spaces and make them as effective and as compact as possible. So leave your ideas down in the comments and we're gonna do a whole nother video just about this storage, about maybe, I don't know, 15 or 20 options that you could use in a place like this. So let us know, I gotta load this thing up. This thing is awesome. It takes up about the same footprint in the shop as the old lumber cart, but it's way more organized and I can easily access all the different stuff here. Now, one thing I did think about after I got it built is that you're always gonna have more off cuts than you have full sheets. So if I were to do this again, I would probably make these two sections a little bit wider than the full sheet section. If you wanna build one of these for yourself, we're gonna have some inexpensive plans available and it's a very easy build. Plus, if you wanted to customize it for your needs, all you have to do is change the length of this piece right here. And don't forget, we need your ideas down in the comments to make the most of this section. This is a great opportunity to have a really organized, really efficient way to store a bunch of tools and clamps and a bunch of other stuff. So we need your ideas down in the comments. We've got tons of other types of projects that you may wanna check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Roll it around, worked great, but it's really easy to find an eight foot long piece or a foof. It'll be a yeah! Excuse me. Ready? Yeah.